Safari 4x4 Engineering has had its range of Armax ECUs for the Toyota diesels. Well, the latest product in the Armax ECU range is for the Ford Ranger and Everest, the 3.2 2017 models onwards. Now, the Ranger is one of the most popular vehicles on the market now, really selling strongly, so it should be a very popular thing with our readers and all you people out there. We're driving Safari's Ranger here. It's a PX3 spec vehicle. It's got a fair bit of gear on it, 33 inch tyres, bull bar, canopy, drawer system in the back, all the sort of accessories you'd normally want to fit on your car. It's also got the Safari Armax snorkel, which helps it breathe nice fresh air into the engine. And of course, the Safari ECU. The Armax ECU has five settings. Setting one is a comfort setting, nice and smooth, throttle control, goes along well but gives you that little bit more power when you want it. Setting two is more a performance and sports setting, really brings that power on stronger. Setting three is a towing setting, reacts more to the engine load. Setting four is an off-road mode, softens the throttle off, less reactive, um, much better for low-speed off-road work. And setting five, which is basically the factory setting for all the engine control. Just as Ford intended, standard 3.2 litre performance. We'll have a play with these settings as we go along. A bit of off-road driving and we'll see how it goes. Leaving the suburbs and coming up here into the mountain range, we've just gone from the position five standard setting up to position one, which is the comfort setting. And while it says comfort, it does give you much more performance, but where you want to use it. Coming through the tight mountain corners, you can feel the mid-ranges there. It just comes on earlier in your throttle application. Not having to push the throttle down so much, but it's there, it's nice and usable. Yet it's not surging and kicking down like a race car. You want to go a bit harder? Just go down to position two, which is the performance one. I just did that while we were talking then. Quite easy to do. And once we get out of these tight bits here, we can squeeze the throttle down a bit more and really see how much different that feels. Just squeezing halfway down and it got much more mid-range torque there. Really feel that coming on fat in the mid-range, which once again is usable, it's where you want it. Once we get down off the range here, we'll see how it goes off-road. a bit steep and rocky now and so we've got to low range we've selected position four on the ECU and the first thing I noticed is that as we we're climbing it, I'm just leaving it in drive and the transmission shifted up sooner than I thought it would and I thought oh, I didn't want that but the engine's got that mid-range big fat torque curve there and just powers through it really nice throttle control for this low speed off-road stuff So we've been driving the Safari Ranger out on and off-road, up and down hills. We got to play with the various modes to see which ones work better. We had the performance mode in position two, comfort mode position one, and the off-road mode in position four, which really softens the throttle up when we're in low range climbing up those rocky hills. Made it really nice and easy to control and drive. We've caught up with David Burns here from Safari. He's gonna tell us a bit more about the product, mate. Now, there's a lot of the things here I remember from driving the 70 series. Yeah, those modes there work really well together. Have we still got the same sort of protections and systems like that to look after the car as well? Yeah, Matt, running the same system, so EGT management, it's also got um, torque reduction on gear change and it also has cold start engine protection, would be three of the major ones that we definitely normally bring up. So all the same um, across the board, basically. So that gear reduction on gear change, that's a big thing too, because you're putting what upwards of to 40% more torque through the thing. Correct. You really want it to back off a bit onto the gear change to protect the drive line. Absolutely, the torque reduction on gear change is a, is a big one. Um, when you make more performance, more power out of a vehicle, um, you can't rely on the factory um, prote protection settings that are set for the factory levels to protect the car. Yep. Therefore, we have those protection systems considering obviously the torque reduction on gear change being that it will actually protect the vehicle depending on what performance we're now making. Okay, so when you Talking about all that protection level, that's what allows you guys to put a five-year warranty on the driveline. Absolutely, that's that's why we are so confident 
um, in, in delivering that kind of a warranty because of those systems, um, how intelligent the protection and drivetrain and engine protection systems are, uh, as well as the, um, the way we actually control and run the vehicle. So I mentioned 40% extra torque there, is that what the figure is, it's 40%? It is, so 25% yeah. more power and 40% um, more torque in the, um, in the Ranger. So it's quite a substantial performance gain. And it's not just all dumped on you, depending on which mode you're using, it's how it comes in, which makes the big difference. Correct, yeah, different modes for different, different uses, like you said earlier. Um, and each mode isn't a different power setting. It's, it's basically a different characteristic for the vehicle for what you're using it for. The one mode we haven't tried out, which would be interesting to see, is position three, the towing mode. Yeah, absolutely. Tow mode, um, the, what we like to call is predictable tow mode. Um, the ECU calculates the load on the engine, mm. um, and then obviously it'll automatically adjust itself depending on what that load change is. So no matter what you put on the back of the vehicle, the ECU will work that out. Um, I think you're going to be really impressed um, with how this thing actually works on with a with a caravan on the back. Mm -hmm. um, so we've we've got the uh, got the Ranger hooked up to a van here. So okay. We can, um, we can take it for a spin and yep. see what you think about it. So when you say it detects the engine loads there, um, you hear people putting massive vans and trailers on cars, things are getting hot. You've got the pyro reading the EGTs on this, so it can adjust there to protect the systems That's again. That's right. So you're towing up a hill, you're, giving, you know, you're giving it, asking it for performance, you're asking it for power. Those heats will rise mm. um, no matter what and the EGT management will manage and protect that, so it'll always keep your temperatures optimum at all, all times. So we've got the van on the back now, let's take it out on the road and see how it goes. So we've got the caravan on the back now, they tell me it's about 3,200 kilos, so fairly heavy for a Ranger. And once again, we started out with the control unit in standard settings, so standard forward settings for the engine and power. And as you'd expect with 3200 on the back, it worked pretty hard. But we've just switched over to the predictive towing mode, which is position three on the sensor there, and it has transformed the vehicle. It's still no rocket ship, it's more usable and it's holding the right gears. It's really transformed the car, more so, I think, than any of the other modes where we didn't have the caravan on. You feel the difference they made, but this one was really chalk and cheese. Towing these sort of loads, this Safari ECU is a real winner. It is fantastic. Just like when we sampled the Safari Armax ECU with the Toyotas, I've been really impressed with the extra performance, but more so the drivability that it gives you. The more control, the torque where you want it, just makes the car much nicer to drive, easier to drive. Of course we've sampled this one with a trailer on the back as well, that's been a real revelation. The towing mode really makes a big difference. We drove it standard, we put it into the towing mode and it, it makes the car so much easier to drive. It really feels like it's not working as hard, it's quite comfortable now. That extra drivability with the assurance of all those protection systems that Safari put into it, torque reduction on shifts, chance you have a problem somewhere around the country, you're towing your big van around. They can log into your system, see what's going on there, pull up any fault codes and tell you what the problem is. On a product that's made in Australia, you can't get that anywhere else. It's really good stuff.